Hello my friends! Welcome to a drill and a dream! So today I've been doing some dreaming, less drilling, haven't gotten there yet, but I've been doing some dreaming and I've been thinking about my kitchen and its layout. So when you start a project like the one that I'm doing, at least for me who doesn't really like has never done this, doesn't really know what I'm doing, um, when I started this, I realized there are just so many moving pieces and my brain is just constantly like, blah, blah, blah. you know, like I can't even keep track of all the different pieces and all the different parts and the orders that everything has to go in every little detail. Yeah. Anyway, so I've been thinking, um, I mentioned in a different video about just trying to start and figure out where I'm going to want all the outlets and everything in the house. And, um, so as I've been thinking of that, First of all, thank you for the great ideas that everyone has given because they have been very helpful and I've been taking that all into account. But um, I've been starting to think about like, okay, the kitchen. The kitchen has to have all these different outlets, has to have, you know, outlets for the fridge and for the stove and all these different things. And so I'm like, Abby, girl, you got to get going on figuring out exactly where everything is going to be in the kitchen. So um, that is what I want to work on today and on this video. Um, so I want to figure out exactly where everything's going to be or at least get some ideas. And so in order to do that, I, as you may have seen in a prior video, I already have my cabinets. So I'm going to have to work around that and figure out what's best. So I'm here today in my garage so that I can um, measure all of my cabinets and figure out which one's going to go where. We'll see. So here are my cabinets. Someone made a brilliant suggestion that I just haven't gotten to yet, which is to put all of the cabinets on boards. <laughs> I've been thinking about it a lot, but I haven't done it yet. So I have my tape measure and I have my handy dandy notebook and I'm going to start writing this down. So I have it all written down and then now we're going to go to the house and see how we can best maneuver it. I have an idea in my head, a um, couple ideas, but we'll see how it goes. Oh my goodness, guys. Guys, literally. Just wait. Just wait. I have a surprise for you. A big surprise at the house, in the kitchen. Can you guess? Can you guess? Probably not. It's probably beyond your wildest dreams. Let's see. Alrighty. So the floor in the kitchen was taken up this week. Basically there was linoleum on it and there was plywood underneath that. So underneath the plywood, I've figured that it was probably wood because when this house was built, you know, what else are you going to build it with? So I figured it was wood, but I assumed it was probably the same as the living room floor and the dining room, what will be the dining room floor. So, which is great. I love it. You know, it's wonderful. But when the floor was pulled up, we found a slightly different floor. What? Yeah. Let's take a look. So, this floor is like really smaller, more narrow boards than the living room is. And it is so close together and so just extremely beautiful. It's like just so flush. It looks like, um, I don't know what happened when they, they must have sanded part of it because part of it is this light color, which is like, you know, wood colored. And then part of it is this darker colored that's like partially, partially sanded. So I was really, really, really thrilled with the floor in the kitchen, and I'm hoping that we can, um, you know, sand it down and stain it or poly it, whatever we end up doing. 
but I think it's gonna look really, really nice. So the same um, plywood was also moved into the entryway here. And so this is the same sort of wood that was carried on from the kitchen. And as we recall, the living room is a wider board that is a different kind. Some people have thought that it was oak, perhaps. So I'm hoping to keep as many of the original floors as possible. So as long as everything is good, I would like to sand them down and then do whatever I end up doing with them. But I know that I'm, you know, obviously taking the walls down, which kind of needed to be done for the sake of, well, they were in bad shape and electrical and just making sure everything is good underneath. But the floors I would like to keep if possible. Um, and that is one of the older features that I would like to remain in the house, its character. Now, some of the things aren't perfect. You know, it's a little bit, a little bit not quite flush and stuff, but um, I think it's worth it to keep the original charm to it. So obviously if there are weird places, so this is one place that I noticed was a little bit rough, but you can also put rugs on things and, you know, do what you can to keep the original charm of the place in that way. Okay, let us get back to the task at hand. So what my thought is, is that I'm going to use tape and kind of lay out where the cabinets are potentially going to be. Now, I feel like I've already had so many ideas that were just totally not gonna work. So anything that I plan today may not happen, <laughs> but what can we do? You gotta try it out. So initially, my thought was that I wanted to have the sink underneath the window, which makes sense. And then I can look out to the beautiful patio, etc., etc. But I got to thinking about that. And so there's not that much space here. This needs to remain as, I don't know if I'm going to leave it as a door or it has to be wall space. Well, for one, so you can get into the pantry. And for two, because eventually down the road, that will likely be the door into the master bedroom. So we have to keep this as a wall or as a door, whatever. And this is the entryway into the, or it's the hallway that's going to go to the dining room. So that has to stay open. I, I'm going to have it like four feet is the plan, tentatively. So if that four feet is there and we have to keep this here and we're bringing the counter out two feet, we have a problem called just like little space to get through, which is not going to work out so much. So I believe that plan is no bueno. So I had a new plan. So I was thinking of having an island in the middle and there's not enough room for like an island with seating on the other side. But there is enough room for an island without the seating. Like I might have seating at the end of it, like just two seats, but there's not like seating on the other side, you know, counter seating. No, because there's not enough room for that. But according to the interwebs, there is enough room for one regular island because they said that you need to have 42 to 48 inches on either side of the island. So if the island is right in the middle, there should be about, about that amount of space on each side. And of course, the other side is going to be the doors to the pa pantry and the bathroom and the um, coat closet. So my new thought, as I had to change my plans around many, many times, I'm sure many more to come, but my new thought is to have just like basically a galley kitchen with an island. So it's going to be along this wall and then the island wall, and then that's not going to have anything on it. And that brings me to my next thought that what if, of course, like I said, subject to change, but what if I, instead of having, since I'm not going to have the sink on this side, I could have the sliding door in the kitchen instead of the dining room. Now, what do you folks think of that? My thoughts about it is that it would, since this entire thing would be, see, I already taped it out approximately. So since this entire thing would be window, I feel like it would give more 
um, light to the kitchen, which is desperately needed because the other side, uh, the other windows on the other side are, they have the porch on it, so it kind of blocks out some of the light. It's not as bright in the kitchen as in the living room per se. And so I would just have a big window in the living room instead and the sliding doors here. My other thought about it is that it would be helpful in the way of like bringing food out there. You know, obviously that would be way more simple just to go straight out the door versus um, go into the dining room and out there. And I've always felt like that would be nice, but I just didn't think that there was space for the door to go into the patio from the kitchen because I was like, well, there's gonna be the sink here, so there's no room. So I think that that would be good. All right, so let's do a little light masking. This, as you can see, is not a stove, but it's going to be pretending to be a stove for the purpose of this video. Um, it's a washing machine. <laughs> the floors are so dirty, nothing sticks. Okay, so that is not per se perfect, but it'll do in a pinch. So, um, this is the door to the basement. Someday I'll show you down there after I clean it. <laughs> this is a closet. This closet used to have the chimney in it. What I'm going to do because we have limited space for cabinets and stuff in the kitchen because this wall is totally you know, doors and that is unusable. So basically we just have this wall and then the island. And since this is gonna be just the chimney, what I'm gonna do is open up this wall here so that we can get to that if we need to from the um, basement stairs. But basically this is gonna be all closed off, just regular, you know, sheetrocked across. So I'm going to set the camera here and um, figure out the island width. Okay, so this is three and a half feet um, in between. Wow, I'm really dizzy. I don't think I've drank enough today. Um, so this is three and a half feet, and then I'm gonna put the two, or I'll do 25 inches. In a way, it's such an awkward kitchen because it's kind of long and skinny and a lot of the walls aren't usable, but we're gonna make, we're gonna make it good. We're gonna make it great. And we're going to make it, what's that word? Um, hmm, what word am I thinking of? It's like when it's really, really, you know, it's very usable, well used-ish. Oh. Okay, can we picture it? Yeah, I mean, I think so. What do you guys think? Do you have any other brilliant ideas for the best way to lay it out? I think that this could be, could be good, so what they say is you want your triangle. So if we have, you know, the fridge, stove, sink here, and maybe like dishwasher here is what I'm generally leaning towards at this juncture. And then I'm thinking having just a, like a two stool thing at the end. I really don't want to eat my meals in the kitchen because I have this beautiful dining room and I would like to use it. Um, so I don't want it to be like really 
this is the seating place, but I do think it would be nice to have a stool because you never know, you know, when you just want to sit down and say you're working and you want to, whatever. But, so I do feel like it'd be nice to have just, you know, say the counter ends here and then it goes over the countertop, not the counter. The cabinets end here and the counter goes a little bit more and there are just like two chairs at the end. So that's um, where I'm leaning with that. Now, let's think about the cabinet. So let's think about this. If indeed we were, does anyone have their, their fridge right across from, from their um, dishwasher? And if so, does it cause issues? Like, I don't feel like the two would be open at the same time on many occasions, but I want to make sure there's not any, like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that sort of thing. But, of course, there's also limited space, and I would like the dishwasher to be right next to the sink. And, like I said, I want to have the triangle sort of thing. So, I don't know. Any thoughts on that? Say if I did the, I have a 30-inch two-door one right next to trying to think what is most versatile, most useful. The, there's a big one with the three drawers that I think would be good to have next to the stove so that I could have pots and pans in there and stuff. And I feel like there is, there's the one with four drawers that are like shorter. And I think that that would be nice to have next to the sink so that you can have your towels and stuff, washcloth, that kind of thing in there. I feel like that would be useful. This is about yay big. You know what, there's stuff back here. This is a 30-incher. So if we have the 30-inch one there, and then let's see what else we got. And then 36 inches will tell us about here, which would probably be good because you don't want it to be right next to here, you know. I think. I don't know. Um, so say we had a 30 inch here and a 36 inch here. 36 goes to here. Beautiful. So I think that looks nice, right? So we've got one cabinet here, which is going to be the three drawers. Right, yeah, that's 36 inches with big drawers, and then this one is going to be a two door one. So, tentatively, that seems nice. Let me see how big a dishwasher is 24. So, if per se we had this dishwasher here. And then a little space, I don't know if that's too small of a space for a seating area. So that is leaving, if we make it 
line up with this side, then we would want it to stop about here. It's only about 30 inches. So I don't know if that's small enough, too big, too small, I mean. I don't know. Guys, I messed up. I forgot. I forgot something important. Like I just said, I want to have the, this might fix it. This might be good. I wanted to have the short, short cabinet with four um, drawers. I wanted to have that next to the sink. Remember I said that? And I didn't put that in. So this way, I'll have that here instead of the 36 inch one. And then it will be a bigger space for, for seating. Okay, so that would be four drawer, 15 inches. Oh, would you look at that? I love it when a plan comes together. Am I right? Okay, so now we're talking. So it's not gonna be really a lot of cabinet space on this island, but I think it'll be plenty because we're gonna have the whole, oh, I forgot about the uppers too. My goodness, this is gonna be a long video. But um, we're gonna have the whole pantry. The pantry has so much room. It will have so much room for storing stuff. We're just gonna need our basics here. Probably most of the food will be in there. So um, I think that that'll be enough. So, and then I think what I'll do, so this is a 36, this is a 30 inch. Perfect, oh my goodness, perfect. So on the wall, I'll have a 36 here, and I'll have a 30 inch, because I have both of those for top ones. And then I'm hoping to have a nice hood for the stove, um, which I think will be really nice. And then I, there's one for over the fridge that I can put up there. So that's, I think that'll be really nice. I can see it now. Can you see it? I can see it, and I like it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think there's plenty of room. Like it's kind of close, but also that might be nice in the way of, you know, I'm washing, I'm washing. Here, let me put the stove, the thing on the stove, blah, 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 you know? Just kind of convenient, convenient, right there. So hopefully that'll be good. Give me your thoughts, what do you think? Um, or suggestions, ideas? because it's helpful to see all the different ways you can maybe do it. And like I said, absolutely nothing I said today is set in stone, um, but that's where I'm leaning at this particular juncture. And another thing that I like about it, a uh, new idea I had is this corner here. Like I said, I don't really want a table in here. My initial thought was like, maybe have a, a small table here, but the more I think about it, it's like, I don't want my dining room to be one of those unused spaces, you know? I really, um, I wanna use it. So, therefore, I don't wanna have a table there. I would like to have maybe just like a little chair area, like just that one chair and a, and a side table or something. Something that, you know, you can put your shoes on, but like a nice little, maybe like a, what's it called? wing back chair, you know, something like that that's nice and maybe have some plants. Um, gotta find a place to put my bird of paradise. Maybe I'll put it there. I don't know. I don't know, it might be too big. <laughs> it's really big. It's either gotta go here or the dining room maybe, or maybe the living room, but I'm leaning towards either here or the dining room, but we'll see. But anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will tune in next time as we continue on this exciting journey. I wanted to let you know if you um, missed any of the prior videos, you know, this is obviously a continuation series, you know, starting from the very start of buying this house. And if you missed that, any of the videos, you can always watch the playlist called My Fixer Upper Journey and it goes through from one to today of all the videos in order. So if you would like to watch that, it is available. Um, I think it's in the end screen, so you can check it out there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.